One of the um, ideas still using paper patterns is to try to figure out handle and, and spout shapes. And one of the fun things you can do sometimes in the evening, if you're tired, uh, too tired to work uh, in the studio in clay, is you can take a pair of scissors and a, uh, some paper and you can begin to cut patterns out of the, the paper. And with, with the paper patterns, you can get, begin to explore um, spout shapes and or handle shapes and figure out you know, what kinds of proportions that you might want to begin to um, put on your, your piece or you know, different angles. So you can work this out ahead of time just using the silhouette shapes of this. These uh, shapes of, of paper then can be translated to a piece of plywood. I use a three quarter inch plywood just because it was plentiful on construction sites and you could, they threw a lot of this away so it was, it was free. And after you have decided what uh, shape spout you want to make, you can transfer the drawing to a uh, piece of plywood. And don't forget to use um, like a left half of the spout and a right half. Even though this is flat, um, if you just do this and then would do another one like that, you end up with two left halves or two right halves in the spout. The other thing people will ask me is, can I use uh, this side of the, the mold and then turn it over and use that side of the mold, which would be the same thing. But what happens in that case is that usually then this piece is uh, hard leather hard and the other piece is soft leather hard. You try to join them together. And so you always have a drawing discrepancy going on. All right, so here we have kind of a nice spout. But now how do I get this the right shape to go on a teapot, right? This is what I learned from Michael Simon, the genius. I have a long, thick, kind of wider brush. And I push the brush down there. And so the brush is going into this solid thing. And then I just am going to crank this over quite far like that, right? And then I just pull back like this a little bit. Right? How cool is that? And then a little bit more, just like that. And then I'm going to cut it just at a little bit of an angle like that. And then already, just right off the wheel, before it sets up or anything, I have like the perfect teapot spout shape. See the rest of the pot would go here. So just using that brush to really crank that over. If you get some ripping here, try to make it a little bit thicker or clay a little bit more plastic. But that is how I make a wheel thrown spout. So I will score the bottom of this stiffened foot. Before I use this foot as a template, I just want to make sure it's pretty good and symmetrical. Then I just drop my slab over it, tap it on the outer edge to get my impression. And my cut is, is again, not a bevel cut, it's just a straight up and down. And I scratch this up. Smooth my edges. I'm ready to pop it on. I'm just going to add some water to it. If you have a choice between putting your water on the soft slab or putting your water on the stiffened pot, then you go with the stiffened pot because it can take it. Because where, whichever surface you put it on, it's going to soften that surface. So you always want to put your water on the stiffer of the two surfaces. So this teapot with a handle on the back is one way to approach a problem with the teapot. And the other ones that I have back here are sort of of the same series, carved up similarly. Uh, but I made choices um, 
sort of internal aesthetic choices about whether or not I wanted to put a handle on the back of these or on the top of these. You know, this one here, I had held a, a handle up to the back of this one and found that it just didn't quite work. The teapot was a little too squat. And by putting a handle out the back, I made it a long, low, flat teapot visually for me. And I wasn't interested in that. So I picked out a handle that was that went over the top. And for me, this is a really good balance between this curve in the spout, curve in the handle, and the curve and the sort of the looseness of the carving on the pot. 